you know, I felt really guilty. I felt ashamed. Um, uh, physically, I found it hard to breathe. Hi there. So today I am interviewing Greg Cooper on our Tough Talk series. So I'm going to ask you, Greg, some tough questions. Mm -hmm. So um, I know from a previous conversation mm. that we've had, there was one period in your life and in your business life, really, um, where things got very, very difficult, very uncomfortable for you, uh, incredibly challenging. Would you be happy to share that with us, yes, please? Yes, of course, yeah, yeah. Well, back in 1990, long time back now, um, I had a CRM business, yeah. and it was going quite well. Yeah. Uh, we were selling to big companies, and then all of a sudden a recession hit. Yeah. And we just bought a new house. I had two small children, I think about three and five right. at the time. Uh, we just moved in this new house. Yeah. And then uh, the recession hit and all of our potential clients stopped buying because that's what big companies do in recessions. They just turn off the capital expenditure tap. Yeah. And so we were left with a massive overdraft, which actually was the same size as my house I just bought. Ooh. And only then did I discover that my partner of the time had no equity, had no financial resources, and we had a joint and several guarantee with the bank, uh, personal guarantee secured on our house. Right. So I'd, we just bought this house, and because of my sort of recklessness or lack of insight, we, we, we really didn't have enough financial advice from, yes. from an accountant at the time, or someone watching the figures. Um, we had to close the business down, and the bank came after me for the whole amount. Right. That's a pretty scary time for very you then, Greg. Very scary time. Very scary time. So can't imagine how that would feel. It felt awful. You mm -hmm. know, I felt really guilty. I felt ashamed. Um, uh, physically, I found it hard to breathe. You know, it affected just the physical act of breathing. I remember coming back from London one day in the car on the motorway. And, and I found it so hard to breathe, I, I just had to call a friend and say, look, you know, when I get back to Bristol, can I come round to your house and lie down? I just need to lie down. Mm. Yeah. But we survived. Yeah. I still don't know how. Yeah, you know, you've got wife, through it somehow. My wife is absolutely brilliant. She, she was so determined that we weren't going to lose the house. Did you manage to hold on to it? We did, yeah. We got a second mortgage. Yeah. We, uh, we sold some insurance products. We yeah. borrowed a little bit from family, not very much. Yes. Um, we negotiated with the, with the bank. Or the administrators they, or... It was the bank, yeah, because yeah, yeah. it was a voluntary yeah. liquidation. Yeah. Um, and somehow, one way, uh, we survived. I, I, I couldn't have done it on my own. I was no. completely useless. Yes. I was a gibbering wreck. Who was your biggest back. support at the time? Was that your wife? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. No, I'm looking back at that, mm. what do you feel that is really your biggest learning from that yeah, horrendous experience? it was a big learning for me. Two really big things was, uh, one, get, some, get a good accountant, yeah. watch the figures, and, 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 uh, uh, and also um, don't, don't put yourself in hock to other people. We were completely dependent on the bank because of our overdraft and personal guarantees. Mm. So since then, in my subsequent businesses, I've never had an overdraft. Right. Okay, so it might have limited the growth of the business at yes. times, but I've never owed anybody any money. I've never had yeah. an overdraft. You've always kept everything in the black. Yeah. 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 And, you know, it's probably made you pretty resilient as well. Maybe slightly more cautious. Yeah, I think so, but I think there is some, but there's a thing with stress also. If you go through a very stressful uh, period, then it acts like an elastic band being stretched. Yeah. And you never actually go back to your original length. You're always a bit overstretched. Yes, yeah. But, you know, the thing in, in business, and that kind of worries me sometimes when I see new businesses starting up without properly doing their research on the market, mm. is you can make a lot of money in business, absolutely. Yeah. But you can also lose a lot. Yes. You can make a lot, but yeah. it could easily be lost yeah. if you haven't covered yourself. Yeah. Okay. Greg, I really want to thank you for sharing that with us because, you know, it's a brave thing to do on mm. camera and, um, you know, we, business is tough mm. and this is why we're doing the tough talks because it's very easy 
to talk about all the positive things that we're doing and people do talk it up a lot um, and I believe that we all have our ups and downs, we all have our challenges. Um, it's never plain sailing and um, we're all doing the best we can but we've also got a lot to learn. So if anyone can learn anything from these interviews then for me that's what this is about. Yeah. So thank you for sharing your experience with us today. My pleasure. Thank you Greg. Thank you.